I never expected that the broken crankshaft pulley could actually be repaired. The bespectacled Pakistani man truly has the ability to fix anything. In this case, with the existing cracks and shattered pieces, simple welding would not be enough to ensure the pulley could still withstand the engine's torque. The clever man with the glasses decided to use steel plates to reconnect the broken parts. However, since the dimensions of the two components were quite different, the repairman had to use a compass to mark a circle. Only when the data of the steel plate matched the inner diameter of the pulley could a perfect connection be achieved. But due to time constraints and a significant margin of error, to ensure the steel plate aligned with the markings, the repairman had to use metal cutting tools. This not only improved the cutting efficiency, but also smoothed the edges. Under strong cutting force, the oddly shaped steel plate quickly became a circle. However, for the steel plate to perfectly fit the pulley, the ends had to be precisely aligned. To achieve a perfect joint, the repairman used a drill to flatten the inner surface of the pulley. Only then could the outer shape of the steel plate be determined. Since direct insertion wouldn't guarantee a flat surface, the repairman had to cut threads into the inside of the pulley. These threads were critical, and even an experienced repairman wouldn't take them lightly. Once the inner diameter data of the pulley was confirmed, the steel plate could be processed similarly. Only with precise measurements could the steel plate connect seamlessly. However, to ensure the plate fit in the correct position, the depth of the threads on the pulley had to be marked. This would help the repairman accurately replicate the threads and avoid deviations that could affect the pulley's function later on. After shaping the steel plate, the next steps could proceed. The crankshaft belt pulley was directly connected to the rotating shaft. Even with threads of such large diameter, the repairman managed to achieve a smooth connection between the two parts, all thanks to his excellent craftsmanship. Next, the steel tubes used for fixation were removed, completing the material filling process. However, since the pulley still had many mounting holes, the main shaft needed to be drilled. Only by restoring the diameter of the central hole to factory specifications could the remaining holes be accurately marked. Once a lathe was used to process the part to factory specs, the repairman could fix the custom molds by marking according to standard factory guidelines. The joint steel plates could finally function properly after the repairman carefully marked the positions to avoid errors with the drill. He even used a chisel to remark several times. Only by precisely locating the center of the hole could misalignment be avoided. To prevent the threads from loosening, he also had to machine special connection points. This not only helped the bolts securely tighten the internal threads, but also eliminated potential safety risks for future use. With the appearance of a large drill bit, the pulley regained its basic shape. However, to ensure that the limit holes could firmly hold the steel plates, the inner walls of three holes needed machining. This allowed the fixing bolts to bear force effectively. After that, the bolts were screwed into the base of the holes, and excess nuts were cut off with a hacksaw. At this point, the entire pulley reinforcement process was complete. The reason welding rods weren't used was to avoid high temperatures that could deform the pulley. The limiting bolts proved to be the best repair solution. Thanks to this, the once broken crankshaft pulley could now function normally again. The craftsmanship of the man with the glasses was truly impressive.